Isang masayang pagbati na may ngiti sa aking mga labi. Naghahanap ba kayo ng makakatuwang sa pag-review ng inyong anak? Meron yan sa DepEd. Ang Itulay Online Tutorial ay libre at handog ng ating kagawaran sa pangunguna ng OUA ICTS EdTech. Ito ay isang proyektong makatutulong sa mga mag-aaral, katuwang ang mga magulang o kasama sa kanika nilang tahanan para masagutan at maunawaan ang mga modules. Hangad din ng programang Itulay ang matulungan ang ating mga guro sa kanilang mga blended learning classes. Ang ating itulay ay mula kinder hanggang senior high school. Bukod sa academics, meron din tayong mga special programs. Gaya ng All is Wellness, Reading and Math Remediation, Storytelling, Mommy Tech Talks, Classes sa Gramatika, Speech Class, Financial Literacy, at marami pang iba. Pinalawig din ng itulay ang ating alive program para sa mga mag-aaral mula grade 1 hanggang grade 3. Gayun din ay mayroon tayong ALS program at SPED tutorials na makasisigurong makakamit ng lahat ang inclusive education. May SPED hotline na rin para sa inyong mga katanungan patungkol sa special education. Kaya, subaybayan mula lunes hanggang biyernes Mula ikasyam ng umaga hanggang ikapito ng gabi ang ating itulay. Sa ating pagtutulungan, maiaangat natin ang bawat isa. Ating itutulay ang pagkatuto upang di mapigil ang pag-aaral ng kabataang Pilipino. Itulay natin ito, Sulong Edukalidad. Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulay, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, ALS, alive and SPED learners. Aside from answering the modules, The Itulai is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Hello, hello, good afternoon, Tutor Joyce. Hello, Tutor Floyd. How are you, Po? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? Well, doing good as well. How about our learners and our viewers yeah. for the day? Hello, Senior High hello. School. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome to the second quarter of the 21st century literature from the Philippines and the world. So, kaka tune in lamang po tayo are live na napapanood sa DepEd EdTech Unit Facebook page at YouTube accounts, DepEd Philippines, and Educational Technology Unit. So please make sure to hit like or love or any reactions out there and share this live stream to your friends, classmates, or batchmates. So, Tutor Joyce, I think it's best na mag-shout out tayo konti sa mga viewers natin today. Go ahead, Tutor Joyce. Yes, shout out for this afternoon to Mark Selemen. Ayan, hello from San Francisco High School. We also have John Christian Miko. Talagang unang-una siya, Tutor Floyd. We also have Trisha Lian Argualio and Charmiel Gambota and Dave Balveran. Ayan, marami pa. Yes. Tutor Floyd. Yes, we also have John Christian Miko. Um, Hello, anak. Welcome, welcome, at salamat kasi you're still joining us today. So we also have Sherry May Gambota and Gwyneth again. So there are lots of folks here today. And pa, pwede pa tayong umabot. Just make sure to share this stream to your friends and 
classmates. So, ayun. So, Tutor Joyce, ano meron ngayong araw to? Kasi parang pagkakaalala ko, we were uh, promising someone to greet uh, <laughs> all yan. teachers his birthday. Sina to, Tutor Joyce? Yan. Happy birthday to Joseph Conrad Bulaklak. Ang napaka masukid and suking-suki natin sa 21st century literature to Tutor Floyd. Yeah. So, everyone out there, you can join us in singing a very quick happy birthday song with a quicker beat. One, two, three, go. Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Wow. Yeah. So and also, God, happy birthday you. for all those with birthdays out there. Happy birthday din po sa mga mag-birthday ngayon. At saka kahapon at sa mga susunod pa. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. Go. So if you want your birthday to be featured or to be posted, there are content for greeting, just make sure to message us. So to the Joyce today, quarter two na tayo. And... There are a lot of things to uncover, to unfold, to learn this quarter. And I'm very excited because this is our first session and we still have seven more sessions. Pero feeling ko ang bilis-bilis na talaga ng quarter one. Tama ba, Tutor Joyce? Oo nga. Parang last week lang yung na, na, natapos tayo, no? Awarding. And congratulations yes. again for the awardees. Again, and yes, we are yes. now in the second quarter. Yes. Week so. one. Yes, and then for this quarter, here are the MELTs or most essential learning competencies. So we are to write a close analysis, critical interpretation of literary texts that we re read or were assigned to. We're going to, of course, use different reading approaches as we go through these texts and perhaps making an adaptation of these texts. Uh, we'll also be covering multiple texts or chosen or selected texts with corresponding authors of a text from Asia, North America, Europe, Latin America, and Africa. And second, compare and contrast different genres. So we're able to do this last quarter, but this time our focus is on the world literature. Third, uh, producing creative representation of a literary text by using or applying multimedia and ICD skills. And finally, having your own or self-assessment and peer assessment of different literary texts and their adaptation. So there are guidelines I'll be giving you and so with your uh, respective teachers, the 21st century literature instructors. So together, let's learn. So Tudor Joyce, um, let's have a quick overview. So I'll just go through this, run through lang. So these um, lessons or topics reiterate the melts that we have. So currently we're on week one. So our topic is writing a close analysis and critical interpretation of literary text and applying reading approaches. So Tudor Joyce, what are the focus of today's session? And yung mga objectives? Browsing and learning to use the internet is yes! One of the easiest and funnest things to do today. A click here, another click there, and we can be anywhere. You can meet people from around the world. Hi! Read amazing stories and histories of the past. Ooh. And even have a glance of what may be seen in the future. 
But remember, using the internet without proper guidance and enough knowledge can also be one of the scariest we can ever imagine. Ooh. Imagine going on an online trip, seeing the beauty of the place, when suddenly, potential scams pop up and block your way. Hmm, scams? These are dishonest tricks used to deceive people, and we don't want that to happen to any of us. So, be your own hero online. Be internet alert. If it's too good to be true, then it's most likely fake. Fair exchanges shouldn't ask for your personal information. Always think twice or ask for the assistance of your parents and guardians before accessing a new site. Be on guard for possible phishing that will ask you to log in and give your important personal details. Whew, that was close! Good thing, I am internet alert. Remember, any effort to steal your information may be a form of scam. So always trust your intuition and distinguish what's real and what's fake online. This has been your online hero, Mom Jennifer, reminding you to Beware by being aware, keep your learning safe, and don't fall for fake. Don't let this ever happen to you. Hackers and scammers are lurking about trying to get I am we're back. Hello, we're back. <laughs> okay, so Truth or Joyce, medyo may konti lang na ano, parang aberya, but not to worry, we're back. Thanks for our director, Direct Ken, for assisting us. So I believe we're able to uncover the different milks. So we were able to present it kanina. And nakita po natin, there are four milks. And despite them being four lang po, we're able to stretch this out into eight weeks. And as we stretch out these topics, meron po tayong content overview or session guide. So we're on our first week, writing a close analysis and critical interpretation of literary text and applying reading approaches. So, yun po yung gagawin natin today, yun yung i-uncover natin today. So, Tutor Joyce, what are the objectives? What are the targets of this session? Yes, and of course, this session will not be complete without our lesson objectives. So, first, we have identified the common reading approaches that are helpful in analyzing and interpreting a literary text. Second, illustrate some tips in producing a comprehensive or close analysis and critical interpretation of a literary text. And lastly, produce your own literary analysis or critique. Yeah. All right. So All those right. are the focus today. So you'll produce your own literary critic. Um, hopefully your subject teachers in 21st century literature will be able to assign those to you and read a lot of your works in your online classes as well. So what is the literature concept of the week? So our concept for the week is the scale of reading or simply reading. So reading is a skill that we've already acquired as early as elementary. In fact, um, once we start listening or we try to hear sounds and process it in our brains, our neurons, we're able to respond through speaking. And as we master those two or acquire those two skills simultaneously, eventually we'll also be able to check some printed works or codes or symbols and be able to read. So across the globe, there are different ways to do it. And I hope in today's session, you'll pick up just few, if not all, all the talaga, hindi lang few of these reading approaches. So how do we read? So Tutor Joyce, tanungin kita and also our students. So for those of you, comment na po tayo. How do you read or how should you read? Ikaw, Tutor Joyce, paano ka nagbabasa? Well, 
back aso ah, may medyo ano ako medyo late ano ako no bloomer <laughs> pero i really love reading in a silent place parang gano may mga classic music ako naririnig so it really inspires me reading more and more kanon yeah. how about you Jennifer so Floyd yeah so that's good i also enjoy the same thing when I read. So I play some music, especially if parang ang tami ko nang iniisip and I'm drowning with that. So I play some music. If I want to relax and I want to concentrate, definitely some classical music or acoustic uh, acoustic songs. Wow. Or, wow, wow. Yes, Love cover it. songs. However, if I feel so drowsy already, uh, I go ahead and play uh, a lot of loud music, sometimes even rock. I, I, oh. <laughs> I reach that point just to make sure that I'm upbeat and all and I'll have so much energy as I read. And if I know already a material, I'll quickly uh, scan through the material because I-, I wanted to jump into portions of a text which I'm not that familiar with. So, to the joy, yeah, since yes. we're able to have that, sana yung mga students natin, pakitayip lang po kung paano tayo nagbabasa. What's our best asset or best practice when it comes to reading. So, Tudor Joyce, what are reading approaches then? Well, the reading approaches that we have, ayan, of course, ayan, pa, ano muna, Tudor Floy muna, ating slide. And we have here, there are so many strategies talaga, no, in reading, but when we speak of reading, these are common for teachers and parents to feel overwhelmed, but literature-based reading instruction involves reading, teaching, through exposure to literature. Ayan, Tutor Floy. Yeah. So in other words, ayan, in All other right. words, ayan, so students learn how to analyze text mm-hmm. by reading and analyzing. But if we are going to go to look closely, no, we are the plan and explicit action that help readers translate print to meaning and also help improve readers' decoding and reading comprehension skills. And of course, yung focus natin, wag mawawala, literature-based instruction is to help children develop. Ano may develop sa kanila dyan, tutor employ? It's the liter- literacy skills, no? through having a real-life literary experiences. Yes. And there are four, Tutor Floy, alam mo ba, there are four reading approaches that we will be sharing this afternoon. Ayan, mm-hmm. and to start with, uh, we have here skimming. Ayan, meron tayong scanning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we also have the intensive and extensive reading. And of course, to start with, Tutor Floy, take it away. Yes, 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 yes. So, since there are four, let's go over the four. The first one is skimming. So this is something that's very common to us if we're already familiar with the text. So we've read it before. And as you go through the material or as you skim, you just get the summary or the gist of the text because you already know where to go. What are common scenarios of skimming? Let's say you're so excited to check out a new product or a new service. You'll go ahead and type or search for uh, latest reviews uh, from uh, users or fellow consumers. That's skimming practice. Another would be, let's say you're preparing for a speech and you're trying to read uh, your cue cards or notes before a speech because you don't want to forget any detail in the speech. So that's another scenario for skimming. We also have searching for something in our notes or maybe you're having a review with a friend or a sibling and then Yep, skimming is there and will never be gone. So that approach is so common. So let's have the second one, to rejoice, which is yes. scanning. Well, scanning. So the we have uh, simply running the eyes over the text. And actually, scanning differs from skimming in that you don't, do not deal with uh, all the content no? in scanning, but search through the materials of a specific purpose or specific word so you are really finding the answer to the question something like that and then you're seeking an appropriate quotation reference ba or statement okay and especially no isa pa yung mga you're locating names in directory ayan words in a dictionary prices in a catalog and or it's actually it's a quickly reading a text 
to get the summary of it or aim only at finding the necessary you know, take note, necessary information in a text. All right. So, Tutor Joyce, I just wanted to emphasize this part kasi medyo na-mention mo na you we are trying to summarize a text. So, ganito ha, pag skimming kasi, you already are familiar with the text and it's easy to get the gist or some portions. However, for scanning, um, nagiging summary in the sense na parang, for example, meron kang hinahawakan, tapos meron na siyang parang chapter summary. Let's say, ang haba ng text, ang patingin nga ng chapter summary or parang recap ng summary na to. So, dumidiretso ka na doon kahit hindi ka familiar sa material. Alright? So, there are some other examples. So, Tutor Joyce, baka gusto mong i-share. Yeah, lalo na, no? We are also familiar with the the, the emails that we have. You usually scan the... It's, it's actually a technique where students search for keywords in inbox, mga ganon, or it could be an, an email or subject for in, in our... Or, news article or even food no and ang um, pagkat tum, pumunta tayo sa mga restaurants no we visit yes. there and then we we search or i mean scan uh what what our menu for that uh, re- uh, restaurant something like that yeah okay. okay all right <laughs> so thank you for that shooter joy so kung gutom na gutom tayo syempre bilis lang talaga mag-scan. <laughs> lang. <laughs> ano ba yes. talaga ang order natin? Parang ganon. Okay. Yes. yes. And we also have reading approach. Let's do more tutor Joyce. Uh, so, uh, the two remaining reading approaches here would be intensive and extensive reading. Okay. So, what is so special about these two is it's as if you're having a boxing match okay so in this boxing match you're trying to weigh things and you try to explain or try to find an explanation to what you're reading for intensive reading you use it in academic context let's say you're preparing for an exam or you're reviewing for a major quiz or unit test which we miss by the way in face-to-face classes so (laughs) if we're taking time in reading a material and really pausing when you think something is difficult or when you see an unfamiliar term, you go ahead and pause, search for the meaning of the term, then go back to that portion of the text and then understand the text or interpret that portion of the text before moving on to the rest, okay? So intensive reading is so special because you can really see the focus or the concentration of you as a reader. You don't take the reading material for granted or miss any point. So talagang tutok na tutok na pagbabasa, kumbaga. Extensive mm-hmm. reading, on the other hand, it's somehow similar. It may take time or may consume time if and only if you're enjoying the material so much. Let's say you're reading for, uh, you're reading something that's not assigned to you. So in other words, ito yung mga um, opportunities for you to read leisurely. So intensive mm-hmm. reading, academic yung purpose, extensive Competitive din siya in terms of time pag na-enjoy, mahaba din yung pagbabasa. But you do it in a very leisurely way, so comfortable way, convenient way, at hindi siya required, kumbaga. Alright? So, okay, <laughs> that's nice. Okay. Yes. So, Tudor Joyce, ano yung mga further reading tips na meron tayo? I'll begin first, and that's vary your reading rate. So, if familiar yung words, yung concepts, or repetitive yung examples, and then the illustrations are so easy to interpret. One glance lang, kaya kaya niya. And concepts produced or shared are generally, I'll close my eyes, I'll shut my eyes. I already know what the concepts are. So your reading rate, faster, okay? On the other hand, if medyo maraming unfamiliar terms or words that may need unlocking or long-winded sentences so or words that are quite um, verbous in nature and damning words, damning sentences, damning ideas, and highly detailed information, definitely your rate becomes slower because you're intently reading a material. And sometimes, if hindi man slower, kung slow na, ka na talaga, 
at least medyo steady lang yung pagbabasa natin. All right? So, that's amazing, right? How about yeah, the second nice. lecture, Joyce? Well, the second one we have, we have to look out for pivotal words, no? Ito mga pivotal words na to, in other words, to repeat. Actually, these words are some kind of what we call the transitional word. So we have to look out for this. And my examples natin yung consequently, therefore, for these reasons, or in, in entirely, while, on the other hand, because these are several phrases, conjunctions, so where does help us to understand what's coming up next or what's next, di ba? Yes. Oh, and knowing this, can be a big help when we are deciding to read the following carb section. Ayan. And yan, isa yan, yung repeating words such as in other words or to repeat. Yes. It, it means you you are about to read or repeat the information, no? Mm -hmm. Parang you are emphasizing it. Ayan. And mm -hmm. another one, yes. we have the cause and effect, tutor Floyd. On yes. the other hand, ayan, yung because, yes. so, consequently, and therefore. Yes. And, I know. Oh, yeah. Right. And surprising words will be followed by information that can give the big picture. This mm -hmm. includes yung mga for these reasons and in conclusions. Ayan, All right. Boy. All yeah. right. So good job, Chitter Joy. So I believe when our kids here, our viewers, would come across pivotal or very important words, agad agad na nila realize, oh, these are transitional words phrases or devices or maybe signpost that they need yes. to look into para makita nila yung relationship ng mga ideas in a text. So good job there. So the third one guys or the final reading tip that we have here is read voraciously. Imagine yourself eating a lot like if let's say you're craving for <laughs> burger or cheesecake tutor joys. I kind of oh, wow, I love it. <laughs> Yeah, so okay. once you're fun of something and parang ang tagal mo na, let's say, nag-diet ka ng todo, oh my gosh, let's get into there very soon. So kung nag-diet okay. kang todo and then you really wanted to eat that at tapang parang feeling mo yung isang serving kulang pa, hala, order ka pa, kain ka pa, and you ask for more and sometimes parang, oh my God, Ma'am Floyd, gluto ni ata yan. Hindi naman necessary. <laughs> Hindi naman necessarily. So that the fact that you're, you wanted to acquire that something more and more Similar po yan sa reading. Gustong gusto mo magbasa ng magbasa ng magbasa mm -hmm. because you're enjoying the experience. And remember, if you read voraciously, you're able to spot some techniques of writers and authors out there and shape your own or even come up with your own writing style eventually. Kung sa simula, medyo, di ba, Tutor Joyce, parang kopya-kopya oh, oh. tayo konti ng style ng existing oh. writers na binabasa natin, pero eventually nagiging springboard na yung reading mismo ng mga iba-ibang material to writing kasi natutunan na natin magsulat at mag-respond sa text na binabasa natin. So, thank you, And Joyce, Carol And you're going to create Oates. your own, no? Parang you're going to create your own na, di ba? From yes. reading text. Yeah. All right. So, thank you, Tutor Joyce. Galing, di ba? So, Tutor yeah. Joyce, since we're able to have the four reading approaches and three tips that we can use in our personal study or just leisure reading. Let's have a quick assessment. So, Tutor Joy, simulan natin yung instruction. And so the direction, read the scenarios given in each number, then identify the reading approach that best apply for each. Okay, yes. so we'll start with number All one, right. Tutor Floyd, one. go ahead. Yes. So, Tutor Joyce, before ko babasahin, baka na-shock yung viewers natin. Ako, personally, I was surprised. I was checking my phone every now and then. I was supposed to respond. Kaso, we were meeting some technical issues or problems kanina. So, parang hindi na siya na-stream sa EdTech Unit Facebook page. But not to worry, because you can still join us in the YouTube account, Educational Technology Unit. Hanapin lang po natin yung 21st Century Lit na nag-stream po live today or maybe visit one of our pay, uh, pages. Nag-share po ako sa sarili ko pong profile ngayon and then tagging Tutor Joyce and Tutor Jerry for creative writing para makita nyo po and you can still stay in the loop. So first item, daming yeah. April Tutor Joyce. No? Go so, ahead, Tutor Floyd. <laughs> Mariam loves reading novels and short stories during her spare time. According to her, 
Such hobby did not only provide her entertainment, but also improve her vocabulary. So, wow. So, hindi lang siya nagbabasa because she is enjoying it. Meron ding enhancement when it comes to learning or relearning different words or terminologies. So, is it extensive reading? Is it intensive reading? C, scanning or D, skimming? What do you think yes. is the answer for this item? So, Tutor Joy, since I need, natin, oh, oh. can you write your answers in our comment section, guys? Mm -hmm. Ayan, mo ka pa sila, Tutor Floyd. Yes. Ayan. Ayan. Sabi ni Sir Jerry, nahanap din. Nahanap ka na din namin, Tutor Jerry. <laughs> We're here, Tutor Jerry. Hello. Yes. Hello, Hi. hello. So what do you think is the answer, guys? Yes. Write your answer to our comment section. Okay. So while we're at it, Tutor Joyce, I think it's best that we reveal it. Because we have the other learners today. And the answer is, Tutor Joyce, I'm going to be answering now. I'm going to answer now. Hello, Yes, wow. from Trisha, Lian, Argalio, we have letter B. Ang sabi niya, letter B, tama kaya siya. Tutor Floyd, reveal mo na. Yee, letter oh, A. Letter expensive. A. Ayan, oh, letter oh. A. So, ganito siya. Ha? Uh, Tutor Joyce, baka gusto lang natin i-repeat kasi medyo hindi na, na ha, nakahabol yung iba. Pag mm. intensive kasi intense, yun yung pinaka, mm. uh, pinaka root word. So, intense, sobrang grabe, sobrang grabing pag-aaral. But extensive, nag-extend. So we extend beyond our normal routine or reading task in school and have your own routine, like just for leisure. Kaya extensive reading siya. Okay? Kasi spare time lang to, eh. hindi naman requirement yan. So hindi siya intensive. Para parang nagpapahinga so. lang, gano'n nagbabasa ka. That's yes. extensive reading. Okay. okay. Hey. So, but still, thank you, Trisha. Ay, short stories pala. <laughs> yes, but Ayan. thank you, Trisha. Kasi <laughs> you're you're able to try answering it. At least, malapit na malapit ka na sa sagot. So, don't worry. There still are other items. So, next one, Tutor Joyce. Go yes. Ahead. Number two, we have Roland, together with his friends, visited a newly opened restaurant shortly after the pandemic. He was eager to pay for everyone's meal that he grabs the menu, the menu as fast as he can and start choosing the best food options for everyone. Ako, nakakagutom yes. tong ating ano, <laughs> Number one, letter A is yes. it exten extensive reading. Letter B is it intensive reading. Is it letter C scanning or letter D skimming? Yes. Okay, let us see your answers, guys. Okay. Write your answer in our comment section. Go, go, go. Yes. Go ahead. Ignan ko din tutor Joyce, no? I'll grab my phone Sige, for a go. while. And while we're at it, I'll also try sharing our live feed. Parang di ko pa rin siya nakikita sa page natin. So, I think the YouTube account link that I've shared would suffice. Tama ba? I think okay na yun, no? Pwede okay. namang team replay po tayo. So, not to worry. So, ang answer dito, Tutor Joyce, i-reveal ko na. Yes, reveal natin. Tutor Floyd, the answer is da -da 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 -da, letter C scanning. Ayan. Yes. Go, go, go. Next. Okay. So next one is Micah wants to answer the guide questions as quickly as she can. Pag nagmamadali lahat ng character natin ngayon, Tutor Joyce. <laughs> so, go, go. so she looked for specific signposts or mga clues, mga mini heading, subheading, or lines in the selection that might provide her the instant answer. So what did Micah use? Which reading approach? So, same set of choices po tayo. Extensive reading, intensive reading, scanning, or skimming. So, what do you think is Micah employing? What was she using? Ah, na natin. Mukhang late yung answers natin, Tutor Floyd, sa comment section. Ayan nga, okay lang yun. Sige lang, bawi-bawi sila sa replay. Bawi-bawi. Yeah, so tama si ano, yung... Um, yung kids natin din out there na sumasagot with us virtually, the answer is we're trying to skim kasi we're already familiar of, uh, we can already assume here na si Micah, kaya alam na niya yung mga sagot or sanahan natin 
more specific lines come with the selection because she's already familiar with the material. And remember, we do that either by skimming or scanning. Kaso alam natin eh, alam ni Maika. So skimming yon. Pero if it's a new material, definitely she's scanning. So nakita yung subtle difference. All right. Diba, yeah. Peter Joyce? Yes. yes. Ayan, may answer tayo si from Trisha Lian Argonia. Nag-try siya ng sumagot. Yes. And her answer is letter D, skimming. Okay. So, ah. ayun na. So, sana nakita yung difference yung kay Maika kanina. Pag hindi familiar um, yung material, definitely you're scanning. But if it's something that's mabilisan ng skimming, tama ba, Shooter Joyce? Or nabaliktan Opo. ko? Okay. Tama, tama. Sige. Oh. Next one, Shooter Joyce. Um, I yes. believe this is your item. Yes, I shall burn the midnight oil so I can ace my scheduled quiz tomorrow. I don't care if it have to go through an extreme amount of reading tonight. And is it A, extensive reading, the same choices? There are B, intensive reading, C, scanning, or D, skimming? Okay. Yan, ano kaya? Ano kaya? So for the information of our viewers, when you say burn the midnight oil, it means you're reading, you're studying, um, very late at night. So, ang tagal yung ginagawa kasi you wanted to finish uh, familiarizing a material or a Ayan. quiz. So, I uh, think we have a correct answer here, Tutor Floy. Preparing for a quiz. So, ano kaya yeah, yung yeah, Tutor Joyce? Anong sagot? Ayan, 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 natin siya si Althea. Ang sagot niya, letter B, intensive reading. Congratulations, yes. Althea. <laughs> Good job. Yes. yes. And I believe this is the final one, Tama ba, Tutor Joyce? Yes po. Okay. So teacher Christine encouraged her students to read not just for academic purposes, but also for leisure to get the best out of the reading experience. So same set of choices, you guys. So extensive, intensive, scanning, or skimming. So ano kaya to? So tignan natin. So tignan nyo ha. Hindi lang academic, pero nakikita niya na it's also for leisure. Kaya siya. So, ano mm -hmm. kaya yun? Actually, dalawa to tutor Joyce. Kaya yung sagot dito, extensive. Okay? Mm -hmm. Pwede naman siyang intensive kung academic purposes. Pero mm -hmm. kung leisure yung focus, extensive. Extensive. Yes. yes. So, oh, ayun. And then, wow! Congratulations, everyone! Everyone! everyone. <laughs> and lahat ng participate. Okay, yes. thank you so much for uh, participating thank you. and joining. Thank you. So, Tutor Joyce, since we have few mm -hmm. minutes left, konting run-through ko lang yung literary analysis, but I'd like you to define it for us. Go ahead, Tutor Joyce. Yeah, so when we speak of literary analysis, this is examining and evaluating a literary work to be better understand it. Not just a summary, but instead, it is an argument about the work that expresses a writer's personal perspective, interpretation, or judgment banyan, or critical evaluation of the work. And yes. here are some tips, Tutor Floyd, that we yes. would like to share. Ano, ano mga ito? Okay. So, yeah. Tutor Joyce, let's have the first two. Or yes, gusto niyo have... ako yung mag-discuss? Oh, number one. Ah, sige, go ahead, muna. Tutor Joyce. Okay, go, go. Go. Number one, annotating the text. Ano ba itong annotating the text? Or simply, pag sinabi mong annotating the text is any action that interacts with a text to enhance the reader's understanding of recalling of or reacting to the text. Ayan. And number two, comparing and contrasting the personalities or decisions that characters make. Ano ba ito? So furthermore, the development of the characters makes the audience care about. It's because when we speak of comparing and contrasting, these are ways of exploring the similarities, yun yun, you know, the, the similarities and differences between two things. And the third, yes. Tutor Floyd, ano yung pangatlo? Right. Okay. So the third one here is identifying the author's purpose and style and the context in which the work was written. So last quarter, we're able to uncover these contexts. So my social, my political, ang dami pa actually. And then once we get to know these contexts, we'll understand better why the author came about or yeah, produced that specific material. What was the inspiration? What was the context that he was part of? At the same time, 
if you just wanted to focus on the text itself without recognizing the author's background, tinitingnan mo yung context mismo na nandyan yung mga characters sa text. So, uh, maganda to, parang hindi lang in, uh, outside the text, inside din yung focus natin. And then, once we get to identify the purpose of the author and yung style niya, uh, agad-agad tayong makaka-decide, wait, I think the purpose of the author is this, so that's the reason why we're seeing this and that. So, tapos you can quote maybe some lines that prove na ito yung nagiging cause or ito yung mga, impl uh, not really implication, but these are lines that would tell us na this is the author's implied purpose. Okay, so yun. And yes. fourth one, specific literary approach or theory that will be using. Kasi Tutor Joyce, di ba? Uh, tama ba, Tutor Joyce, when I say you don't just go for identifying the elements of a text? Tama ba? Opo, no? Kailangan you have to go deeper, not only in the elements of the text. Okay. Yes. And when you talk about literary approaches, if you remember, kung psychological or moral, tinitingnan nyo yung mga uh, good or bad side sa decision ng character. Um, yes, yun yes. yung pinaka-focus ka mo ng literary so moral, analysis yes, natin. Uh -oh. Uh, but yes. if you're going for historical or biographical, you're mm -hmm. certainly looking at the history of the author, uh, even his or her experience or bio biography. Graphic. Yeah, so you would know what really were the experiences that caused him to, to design characters or uh, different plot or events or plot events. Oh, diba? So, bakit ganun? Parang more on war, war. Hindi naman tayo panahon ng war. So, titingnan mo yung biography or history kung saan naging part si author and you would understand na, ah, kaya pala puro war yung theme and sobrang melodramatic kasi ganun din yung na-experience sa time niya. So, again, review those literary approaches so it will be easier for you to produce your own literary analysis. And yes. the fifth one, analyzing patterns at PC. So, ano yung patterns na yun? Baka may recurring symbol. Let's say si Tutor Joyce, well, na nakikinig siya with us. Example, biglang may tatabi kay Tutor Joyce. Merong shadow sa likod niya. Tapos mga ilang minutes after, <laughs> ako naman yung focus, may shadow na naman. So, similar to a book or a movie, that recurring symbol is something that you may want to include in your critique. Na ay, recurring siya na pattern, simple. Recurring na yes. rhyming scheme kung poems. Kasi... At least, talagang inaaral natin yung text. And finally, Tutor Joyce, go ahead. Including pieces of evidences to prove your points. Ayan. Yes. So, kailangan yun. So, hindi lang basa-basa oh. nagbabasa. So, you have to, to get evidences just to prove whatever you want to prove on your piece. Ayan. Yes. Okay. And remember, you should always quote the lines in the text. Specific lines. Hindi kailangan buong sentence that would give enough evidence or piece of evidence a point mo. So, let's say, I I see that the author is trying to utilize this recurring symbol. Uh, tapos, you can quote some lines. Uh, as he puts mm. it, or tapos ilalagay mo yung line, na ganon. Tapos, explain ka na naman. So, that's how literary analysis works. So, hindi lang siya mere answering of the who, what, where, when, why, how. Talaga, tinitingnan mm. natin lahat ng aspect ng text. And, uh, okay. Having heard that, Shooter Joyce, since we're able to have the terms for literary analysis, I believe ready ready na yung mga students natin sa incoming days. At recap lang tayo, Shooter recap Joyce, sa, yes. sa cover natin today. Opo. So we have our lesson recap. We have the skimming, scanning, intensive reading, and extensive reading. Because when we say reading, not all reading approaches may work in a situation or a person. Tandaan niya na. So hindi pwedeng, kung yung kay Tutor Floyd sa kanya, mas effective sa kanyang skimming or intensive reading. Sa akin naman, more on, mas mahilig ako sa extensive reading. So it depends on the person. So, hindi pare-pareho. Yeah. And pare -pareho. there's always the time yes. and place for different types of reading. Yun yung binabanggit yes. ni Chutor Croy kanina. Yes. Okay. So, depending on context po yan, people. So, yeah. hindi big sabihin na comfortable kami ni Chutor Joy sa isang specific or few reading approaches that will stick to that all the time. So, we can always make adjustments depending on the need. And, of course, as we go through these approaches, 
we're able to produce our own literary analysis. So uh, yeah. here is the task of the week. So we have two options. Shooter Joyce, please read the first option. Yeah. So Go number ahead. one, we have to uh, option one, uh, option A, share some personal tips on how you read. Okay, paano ba yung mga paraan ng pagbabasa ninyo or share any reading approach that would wonder for your last quarter. Yung parang baka meron kayong mas maganda pang strategy or approaches na na-share. Ito pwede nyo i-share na hindi namin na-share ni Tutor Floyd. No? Yeah. And you might include some pictures of you performing. Okay, such reading approach, ident uh, ideally with caption, syempre. Ayan, yes. I post yung sa ating FB page, ha? Ayan, guys. Yes. And option B, Tutor Floyd, ano naman ito? Yes, okay. So, if you don't want to share your personal reading <laughs> approach, you can always review the literary approaches that we covered last quarter and just choose one among them and then tell us or explain or share why you often use that approach or you plan to use that approach often in analyzing or interpreting a literary text. So, kumpara tin yung ginagamit at bakit. So, state the reason why that approach works for you. But if you don't have any approach that you're often using, pwede ding plano nyong gagamitin often. Okay? And then, state your reason. So, final reminders lang po. Uh, Shooter Joyce, let's have the first reminder. Yeah, reminders for all the winners. You mga nanalo last time. So you may claim your quarter one prizes by filling out the form where, where we posted. No? And of course, look for me, Shooter Joyce. Yeah. Yes, that's good. And for those who are uh, who would like to review the stream, available and available po yun at accessible po sa Facebook page natin. And uh, today, or actually this week, launch it, we're launching uh, some IBC episodes for senior high school subjects and even elementary and high school. And we'd like you guys to look and check for our featured 21st century literature wow. episode. Weekly na po yun, from 4.15 to um, 4.55 p.m. via yes. IBC. Or you can check the DepEd TV program grid para makita po yun. So, May mga time na nagsusolo-solo kami ni Twitter Joyce yun para <laughs> hanggang bongga yung learning na hindi lang dito sa live stream but you can also have a focused discussion na makita nyo kami sa TV din. So uh, go ahead yeah, and no? check those out. So <laughs> weekly code Twitter Joyce, iwan lang po Yes, natin. and our weekly code for the day, books are the plane and the train and the road. They are the destination and the journey. They are home. From Anna, yes. Kindelia. Kindel. Yes, Kindlen. Kindlen. Yes. Kindlen. Okay. Yes. So, ayun. So, wag lang gamitin instrument or, or vessel yung books for learning and for leisure. Gamitin din natin yun as one of our inspiration para we'll be getting or reaching our destined place na gusto nating let's say we're reading Emily in Paris talaga ko makapunta tayo ng Paris mga ganon <laughs> and really go through the journey kasi minsan di ba yes. para tayo natatransport oh, oh. sa ibang world so uh, mm -hmm. why not read, di ba? go go yes. so, oh. so make it your home make it the habit and speaking of habit uh, I'd like to remind everyone na ongoing pa po yung national reading a month or book celebration this month and sana po uh, you'll continue reading drop everything and read at times and join us next week so those that's about it guys don't forget to subscribe to the Dep Ed and Tech Unit Facebook page and if in any case magkaroon na naman ng counting glitches you can always visit the YouTube accounts at Tech Unit or Educational Technology Unit and Dep Ed Philippines to revisit and share our episodes. Ayan. So, but before we close, Tutor Floyd, yan yung mga approaches that we have shared this afternoon. I hope you can you have chosen already one as your approach. And then by that, you will love and enjoy reading. Yeah. So, once again, this is Tutor Floyd. And I am Tutor Joyce. Yes. Saying, your we're virtual mentor every Tuesday. From 4 to 4, 40 p.m. Saying, Tutor Joyce, ano yung last na yeah. message natin? 
have fun in exploring the different concepts and texts in your weekly habit here in 21st century literature from the philippines and the world yes make sure to tune in for the next class reading and writing with shooter and creative Tutor writing with shooter skip and jerry thanks for watching everyone see you next week with shooter bye. floy and joy stay care bye see you guys bye Ang husay naman, natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan. Dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa itulay!